Number 38, a large scuba tank, which is seen in figure 9.16, with a volume of 18 liters, is rated for a pressure of 220 bar. The tank is filled at 20 degrees Celsius and contains enough air to supply 1,860 liters of air to a diver at a pressure of 2.37 atm, which is a depth of 45 feet. Was the tank filled to capacity at 20 degrees Celsius? Okie dokie. So, a lot of numbers here, but with, press, uh, with pressures and gases, the easiest method is to list out what you got and, and go from there to see what is the correct formula. So, it said that we had a large scuba tank. There was a picture for this, this tank, but do we really need it to answer the question? No. So, I, I, didn't, I didn't put it, all right? But they did say that this tank had a volume of 18 liters, right? So, we know that we have a V of 18 liters. Now, they say that this volume was rated for a pressure at 220 bar. Now, notice with the wording, they didn't say that this was with a volume at a pressure. If they said that this was at a pressure of 220 bar, that means that this volume corresponded with this pressure. But they're saying that this volume was rated for a pressure at 220 bar. Now, what this actually means, what this word rated means, is that with the volume of 18 liters, this tank can, with, you know, can stand a pressure of 220 bar. So this right here, this is like a theoretical value. So maybe I'll just star this because we're basically going to have to see what this pressure or, you know, what this volume had in terms of pressure. So in this case, I'm searching for the pressure here. So maybe I'll put like a little question mark. Now let's see. They did say that the tank was filled at 20 degrees Celsius, right? So they give me a temp as well, 20 degrees Celsius. And when they do that, it contains enough air to supply 1,860 liters. So that's a new volume. So I'm going to put this over here. Maybe I'll put it over here. So I got a volume of 1,860 liters. And you see how now it says it's going to supply the 1,860 liters of air to a diver at a pressure. You see the difference in notation where they say at a pressure versus the other one where it says is rated for. Since this is at a specific pressure, I'm now going to use that pressure value. And that's of 2.37 atm. They tell us that this is a depth of 45 feet, right? So this is like a, a distance value or a height value doesn't really matter and then the question was saying was the tank filled to capacity at 20 degrees celsius so technically the temperature didn't change right so now from here we have to figure out what formula to use remember if you see that you have sets of variables meaning you have two volumes you got two pressures you got two temps we're using the combined gas law which is this one. This one is very easy to use because you can get rid of the variables that are either constant or that they didn't even mention. So for example, I have two different volume units, so I have to keep volume in there. I have to search for the pressure, so that gets, you know, kept in there. But here, the temperature was 20 and 20. So since it's constant and it doesn't change, it has no bearing over the formula. So we could basically erase this temperature, beauty, and maybe I could just, you know, erase this, or I'll just say that this is just constant. So we don't include it. And also with the ends, there was nothing said about the number of moles, so get rid of it. And now we're back to good old Boyle's equation, right? Boyle's formula only dealt with uh, P1 and V1s, right? Pressure and volume. Does it really matter uh, which one is the ones and which one is the twos? Absolutely not. But maybe since this is on the left side, I'll put this as ones and these as twos. 
Okay. So P1, I'm searching for, so that's an X value. And then it's going to be times by the liter, right? The 18 liters. Now, for this one, it's equal to, now in this case, it's 2.37 ATM. However, our theoretical value is set for bars. So in order to make this easier for ourselves, we probably would want to have to convert ATM into bar. And we can do that because there is no one single pressure unit that we have to use for this formula. You could use any pressure unit. They just have to be the same. So if we plug in a bar into this formula, this pressure is going to be in bars as well. Now, all we have to do is just convert ATM to bar. I gave all of the conversions, the major conversions, that you probably have to memorize for this chapter. So in order to go from ATM to bar, I do see that one bar equals 100 kilopascals, and that's the link between ATM and bar. Here's the kilopascal, and that's equal to one ATM. So in this case, I'm just going to have to convert to kilopascal first, KPA, and then I can go to bar. So let's go for it. 2.37 uh, ATM times by a ratio. I'm going to throw the ATM at the bottom. Kilopascals go up on top. 1 ATM equals 101.325 kilopascals. So 1 ATM equals 101.325 kilopascal. The ATM cancels out, and now we're one step away from converting into bar. So kilopascal on the bottom now, bar up on top. One bar equals 100 kilopascals. Cancel that out, and now we're just left with bar. So let's see. 2.37 times 101.325 divided by 100. So I get roughly two point, I'm gonna extend it out a couple of decimals because this is not the final answer. So I'm just gonna say 2.401 bar. And that's gonna go here, right? This is now 2.401 bar. So that's my new pressure. And then times by the volume of 1860. I want to solve for x, so I'll just divide by the 18. And I got to do it on this side as well. This will cancel out. Boop, boop. And now we're left with x equals, uh, let's figure it out, 2.401 times 1860 divided by 18. I get 200 and 48 bar. Remember, whatever the pressure unit that you plugged in, actually here it was, 2.401 bar, that means that your answer is going to be in bar for the new pressure. So at that volume of 18 liters, this pressure now is 248 bar. Now the question was, was the tank filled to capacity? Well, it was rated at a pressure of 240. If the pressure is at 240, or actually no, 220, sorry about that guys, 220 bar, that's the highest you can go. That's the max. But since this had a pressure at 248 bar, you actually overshot it, right? You're higher than 220. So was the tank filled to capacity? No, it was actually, oopsie, it was actually overfilled. So not filled to capacity, overfilled, oopsie, <laughs> and that, that's the answer there. So hopefully uh, this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you know these videos are helping you guys out in your chemistry class. And we also have physics and math videos as well. So if you you know have uh, a little trouble with maybe algebra or pre-calc, or geometry or trig, we also have videos for that as well on the channel. So go check the channel out, all right? Thank you so much, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.